Blood Forge Walker, this is part 11. And we are finishing the kind of wall area and, you know, opening it. And weird creature thing on our walk back. And of course, more enemies. And of course, take out the real little ladies first because they do the most damage. And just try to guide this giant creature guy to um, hurt your enemies. Whenever he's peeping, you know, just slaughter him really. And then do your aid thing, and you can't really hurt you much. And let the giant serpent thing fly around, who cares really. Swamp again. Going places that I've already been. And more enemies before I move on to the next area. I just use the power of the gods to get suck it down. There's another one, so you know what it is. Probably move on this guy and stick him away there. And get some bane going on. Next, that guy up, and now we just gotta deal with the big guy. Big wolf. Oh no, we're out of health. That one will be good for uh, next time we do preserve the last long. <laughs> Fair enough, this guy's not too bad. Like I just stood there and the guy somehow missed him with the knife. Dodge, perfect dodge. And this puking chest again. Oh, these guys kind of take a little too much shit away. This battle is really long and stretched these things. And he's dead, so we just have to get him in and fight him. There goes your arm. Thank the yeah. And to your long marshlands. I like to go right in this game for some reason. So there's a pillar. Of course, there's gonna be more enemies. So, great for that. I mean, who saw that coming? I'm gonna have to play a little safe because we got low health. So, I think it is a little bit to attack them. They're easy to kill. They don't do a lot of damage if you don't let them. And FC on the ground. And that was actually really quick, so we'll just take down the fetch thing and the door's kind of opening for us. So we'll just head over here to the back area where the blood thing is. And yeah, kind of access this cool blood so we get our full blood ability. Our berserk mode. And some of these guys still remember if you grab you and throw you on the ground. Watch that. And the big guy, so he got powers and he got the strap. Yay, now we just gotta fight this guy. Man, he's definitely recharging this, that'd be sick. And next to him on the ground. Cool. Now, time to end up with a blood statue. Yes, blood statue. This is weird. And 
time to be on my way. Back to the middle area, and you guess it, there's gonna be enemies. I know it, you know it. So let's get ready for it. And the wall is going to get kicked down. Ugh. And into the cave we go. And it looks like we have our final weapon upgrade. Pestilence, so oh yeah. And with great power comes great killing responsibility. This is like a really long ass claw thing, so that's what these are. But it's sick, we're getting upgrades, I do like them. New more badass weapons, that's always good in games. And we'll grab this. <coughs> this must be real special, too, it's just sitting there on a tablet thing. I mean, I didn't even have to crush any rocks to get this. And another break. Something tells me there's gonna be a lot of enemies coming up here. Pure kills. Okay. And of course, my enemies. That's all I like And desserts, so I kill my enemies or something like that. And to be honest, I kind of wasted, but I love doing the best t shirts. It's a nice break. Marcus would be proud. Cuts. She's been pausing for bits, but I back out of them. I don't want them too much. So we get to continue moving. And up this little area we go. I will warn you we're coming close to a boss, so that'll be the next episode. And this is pretty intense. It's long they need like literally a whole episode because they're really long these fights. And you see the little cutoff area, so you know what's gonna happen. It's been almost too predictable. And some of the no, we'll just call them no mid. And then they're coming to attack me, so take out the little witch person first. Big beast that's helping me quite a bit actually. We started it. Try to get out of here fast. Nice, yeah, still run away. And dodge. And dodge. Uh, Why you get out of And I'm gonna use my health for the news, and maybe the anger one too. Cool consumption. Cool achievement. I'm just gonna assume that's for like eating everything in the wheel or something like that. Trying a bunch of stuff on the wheel. I have no clue. Look how big my health bar is. It's pretty massive compared to where it started. And so are these creatures, they're getting pretty loud. Yeah. Now he's doing a super spit thing, so I'll take advantage of this. Yep, cut, 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 super cut. I like how it slows down there so I can really get the execution. Yeah. And for some reason spin again, so we'll take a bad choice. And execute. 
Bye bye. And another wave of enemies. So no. And another big guy. So same thing. Think you're better than this game's game. And he's spinning on the ground, trying to come off. Kill you. I can just do that guy aside so I can just quickly execute him. Now it's you and me, buddy. You and me. And this won't take too long. Taste the wrath of my soul. Yeah, uh, dodge, dodge. And the dead again. Yeah, you know, you may think you guys have done first, but really, they just. Everything in this game is the same repetitive move. Never is slow and walk yet, also. We just need to manipulate the match. And we'll see if the next part of the walk is because we're going to kill this guy and move on. Excuse me. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this part as well.